watched the film this morning. It's good. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, you're fresh off. You're fresh off the film. Okay. Fresh off. Yeah, I literally watched it about. I finished it about three hours ago. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, you, I mean, you've got obviously got a history kind of playing basketball. I mean, how, how helpful was that to, to this role? Uh, I mean, very helpful that I had the ability to do all my dunks, all my shots, all my ball handling, right? But it's tricky, right, Stefan, because just because I, I have a history of playing basketball and I, and I know how to play doesn't mean that I, I know how to play in 1950, 1940s. You see what I'm saying? So, as the actor, I have to put away my tendencies of what I know to be true in my world, even if it's my abilities that I've worked hard in and absorb a whole new world. And even the basketball ability played a role in that as well, to step into that new world. Yeah. So is it quite different than the way they would play back in the sort of 50s and 40s and 50s? Yeah, absolutely different. I mean, it was so much back then. It was more rigid and guys weren't doing too much. It wasn't a lot of flair at all, right? As you saw, it's like no razzle-dazzle stuff. It's none of that type of behavior that the fans love and people pay their money for and emulate. The NBA was not that, which makes Sweetwater story so pivotal and beautiful because Sweetwater wasn't the, and not Sweetwater Clifton, let me correct that, wasn't just the, the regular basketball player. I mean, he's the first African-American to sign an NBA contract, right? So he broke down that barrier. But then what he brought as an offering to the game has been limitless i mean he brought creativity flair the alley-oop the finger roll like he brought that flair from the globe trotters how they played out in, in the streets and brought it to the nba and the fans loved it and a lot of players afterwards now were able to build their game white players black players i mean from all over the world have creativity to this day that we love to see i mean the game of basketball is beautiful mm. you know what i'm saying yeah. yeah, do you think in a weird way it kind of helped your overall game to kind of go back and learn i guess kind of the basics in some ways I mean, I don't know if it would help my game because, I mean, I'm, like, an actor, so I don't know if it helped it, but it it, it it didn't, it really, like, brought awareness to me, education, like, wow, this is how the game started. So probably deepened my love for the game even more. Like, wow, I see these guys doing these dunks, and I see Curry shooting from half court. There wasn't even a three-point line back then, right? Like, wow, like, seeing so many different things. It just was really eye-opening. So, I mean, it's always a beautiful time to get history, get a history lesson in an entertaining way, though, and just kind of learn things on the fly. I think the film, Martin Gigi, who's been writing, and who's also the director of this for 28 years, I think it did a beautiful job of entertaining and inspiring in a non, like, forceful way. Like, you're going to catch some wisdom just off of just watching it and realize later, hey, wow, I learned that. I didn't realize that. So I think that was the beautiful thing of me just, kind of going through that journey myself as the actor in that world. Yeah. I mean, you sort of mentioned, obviously, him being one of one of the first kind of uh, Black athletes to be, to, uh, basketball players to be drafted into the NBA. I mean, how important are people like Nat Sweetwater Clifton in paving the way for the next generation of of young Black children in America to grow up believing that basketball was an accessible route of sport they could succeed in? I mean, it's it's paramount, right? It's paramount, right? but not just for for Blacks, I mean, it's paramount because it is a Black man, Black story of seeing how going through the racial discrimination, you can literally still surpass any obstacle life puts against you to, to make a better living for yourself. I think that's pivotal for the Black story. But for the human story, because this is a human story, whether you play sports or not, understanding that no matter what systems are put in front of you that you put on yourself or that the world puts around you, no matter what type of disabilities they try to give you or throw at you i mean there's really no limits to the human spirit when you power through you push through with love and you just you're curious about hey can i break boundaries can i do more than what life has shown me right and especially when you have other humans helping out to push it right like you saw in the film you got jeremy Piven, carrie elvis richard dreyfus kevin pollitt these are all people that played figures that helped this one man's journey that eventually changed the whole world so one man could change the world so i think that's that's one of the most important things too yeah. I was just speaking to Kerry and he was saying he didn't have a kind of huge, I mean, obviously he's playing a real person as well, but he didn't have a huge amount yeah. of footage to kind of go on. So he was kind of, he had a bit more freedom to find his way into the role. But of course, with you, you've got loads of footage to go on. Was it a bit overwhelming at times to try and craft the role in a kind of personal way without veering into an impression of the man, if that makes sense? Right, right. Because when, when you're playing someone, you don't want to like, you don't want to make an impression of the person. It's about the essence, right? So uh, but the beautiful thing with that is, I mean, it wasn't beautiful for Sweetwater back then. It wasn't that much coverage on him. The NBA wasn't the MLB, where you saw baseball a lot. 
right? The NBA was still trying to become a league that was known. So it wasn't a lot of footage I could really find. I mean, it was a little stuff of him on the court, but off the court, living a regular day of life, still driving taxi, still playing Negro League baseball. I mean, so I had freedom as well in a way, uh, but my freedom stemmed from specific choices that I learned about his life. So if that makes sense to you, I was able to find a, a beautiful, healthy balance for me to where it wasn't like I was playing a figure that everyone knew about, right? So uh, there was some liberty there, but the creative liberty I took was all stemmed by truth that I discovered through the character in his life. Did you speak to anyone who knew the man himself? Yeah, I mean, the beautiful thing about this film, right, it's so authentic, right? Literally, we have his grandson, Sweetwater grandson, is in the film, right? I mean, and also his daughter, Jatan Robinson, such a beautiful spirit, has always been involved in this process with Martine Gigi and was on set as well. So I'm looking at her in her eyes and talking to her while she's behind camera while we're filming. So I had a chance to talk to her, talk to his daughter, talk to his grandson, his granddaughter. I mean, so his family has been very involved, so that helped a lot. Well, why do you think it took, I was reading about his kind of, because obviously like you were mentioning about the kind of education side to this. I mean, it's education is always best when it's kind of dressed up in kind of entertainment. I mean, I learned so much about him and I was, so I sort of researched more as well, as always, after, I, after I've watched something. But why do you think uh -huh. it took long for, for him to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? I couldn't believe how late it was when his, it came up in the closing credits. It's a beautiful question, Stefan. I mean, I don't know. You know, you don't know why these type of things happen, right? Uh, but what I can say is this. When you have people that go before you that lay the foundation of, like Sweetwater did for the league that we love today. I mean, the league was desperate of just trying to become a billion-dollar league. It wasn't a billion-dollar league at this time, right? They were just trying to make something. And they built on top of people that helped push this league up. And when you build on top of people without recognition, and especially if that person doesn't care about recognition like Sweetwater, they had a beautiful soul, didn't care about the credit, then they're just going to keep building, building on top of you and no one's going to say anything. But then I think through this film, through this filmmaking process, I would like to, you know, say through Martin Gigi and doing the work of this beautiful story, I think it just shines light on the, the, the beacons that came before us, the trailblazers that came before us. So, hey, humans, we make mistakes. We overlook people. But truth never has an expiration date. So it's always a good time to go back, put him in the Hall of Fame, even if it's in 2014, right, years later. But at least he's in there now. You can never erase that. So I think no matter what hard work a human does and the impact they have on people, it will never go away, whether they get the accolades or not. But thankfully, Sweetwater did get his accolades on this one. I mean, this must have been a bit of a dream role to get because I mean, I mean, we sort of mentioned at the beginning. Obviously, you kind of you have the kind of the ability to play basketball, which is so, so obviously something that you're already passionate about. But to be able to combine that with just a great character and a great film, I mean, that must have been a when 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 your agent came to you with this, you must have been like, yes, please. <laughs> Man, it's a it's a dream come true, right? It's just like, wow, God is good. I mean, I can't even, I couldn't think that I could, especially because I. I I let basketball go after I was playing pro in Australia, I stopped playing ball. So to combine both worlds together and be able to step into that has been a true dream come true. And I'm so grateful I got to tell this story and just share this often with the world. I mean, there's so many more stories inside of me to tell, but this one specifically to start off with hit home and it's such a blessing. Well, on that lovely note, thank you so much for your time today. It's been a real pleasure speaking to you and best of luck with the release of the movie too. Yeah, Huge pleasure, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Stefan. Bye-bye. Cheers. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!